First, I want to share with everyone, I don't know how big the crowd will be today, but I'm as a Christian, and as such, I will pray as a Christian. And I want to say this does not mean that I do not respect all other faiths, and instead ask anyone of another faith to respect my beliefs as I respect yours. And when the time comes, listen to my prayer and offer it to God as understood by your faith. Next, I thought it would be good if we reflected on why we are here. Together we come together today out of concern for our country, the community, and our families. For various reasons, we are all concerned with the direction our nation is heading, and we believe that it may be jeopardizing the very principles on which our nation was founded. I think you're so concerned for your nation that you're willing to set aside differences in political views and come together on this July 4th to express our desires that we hold fast to the principles that founded our nation. And what are these principles? You know, I think without doubt, to me, and I hope to you, they're best summed up in one very short sentence in the opening paragraphs of the Declaration of Independence, which was signed 233 years ago, and we celebrate that signing on this day. To me, the words of this sentence are so profound and true that I believe they must be inspired by wisdom and truth that can only come from God. I'm going to read that sentence to you now, and I'm going to pause after that reading, and then we'll have the invocation. I'd like you to reflect on this sentence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let us pray. God our Father, we come before you this day to ask for your continued blessings and outpouring of your love and spirit upon this nation. Father, we are troubled in our hearts that our nation is succumbing to a temptation to turn away from your guidance and will and instead place our own desires and interests above yours. We ask you to forgive our nation for any and all actions which we have taken that stand opposed to your truths revealed to us by our forefathers. We ask you especially to forgive us for our inability to live in equality as continually expressed in our failure to treat each other with respect, dignity, regardless of race, creed, religion, or other differences. We ask to be forgiven for our failure to understand that to truly have life and liberty, we must stand fast and ever protect the life and liberty for all, especially for those who are the most innocent and helpless, the aged, the infirm, and the unborn. For these failures and others I have not named, we beg your forgiveness and pray for the strength and resolve to repent and be reconciled as a nation, community, and as individuals. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit fill the hearts and minds of our elected officials so that they be led to making right decisions founded upon the truths discerned and set forth at the founding of our nation. In this life, we ask you to fulfill these things. Heavenly Father, we come before you and offer these prayers in the name of your blessed Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen.